How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse, back as promised for another beer and another box of X and Y8. This time we're going to go into Red Flash, Red Flash. If you did not see box number 14 of Blue Shock, definitely go back and check it out. It was a marvelous pull that I'm going to spoil in 3, 2, 1, okay too late for you now. I really hope that the twin card of Blue Shock is in this Red Flash booster box number 14. Because that would mean that we would have our Mewtwo full art, and that would be oh so fantastic. For whatever reason you are stubborn and you did not watch Box 14 of Blue Shock, polished off that beer in the back by playing the drinking game I usually do. If I pull a holographic card or better, I take a swig out of the beer. And I finish it over the course of the video. I just finished that one, cleaned up my mess, and we're back at it, hoping for another amazing pull. So, first pack is going to show us a Go Goat, Magnemite, Zorua, Ralts, and a Mewtwo Spirit Link. I already have excavated the Mewtwo Y Mega version full art out of a box of Red Flash. So, we just need the regular one and the Mega Houndoom full art to complete our set. Assault Fest, Star You, Aroma, not Aroma Tease, Spritzy, I'm sorry. Uh, Star Me, as I throw him to the ground. He's down there now. Uh, and an Empoleon Hollow. Oh boy. There we go. So, we're gonna grab ourselves a sleeve. Sleeve this guy up. And crack open our friend the Yingling Logger over here. There we are. Yes. Good stuff. As I mentioned in the previous video, don't drink if you're underage, don't drink if you don't want to, and don't drink in a situation that is not socially acceptable or safe for you to do so. Uh, Dodrio, Starly, Remoraid, Magnemite, and an Evil Tall Hollow. Nice back to back hollows. Definitely wish, well, I can't say wish because it's not necessarily not true at this point, but. I hope that the level of artwork that they've put forth with the holographic cards in X and Y8 is something that they're going to continue to pursue in the future. I'm really happy with them. And we have a Printplup, Zorua, Ralts, Staryu, and Houndoom Spirit Link. Hopefully a sign of full arts to come. Pull blanks out of my last three boxes of Red Flash, so... Uh, Staravia, Akshu, Skiddo, Swinub, and a Mewtwo EX. First EX of the box. And here we have a Curlia. Quilladin, Bronzor, Piplup, and Aromatisse. So, you know what? I do have a question for you guys. Do you think they're putting too much emphasis on the 6th generation Pokemon? <laughs> As we immediately see another Aromatisse. Uh, Ralts, Axew, Magneton, and Parasect. Do you think they're putting too much emphasis on them? I think that Pokemon is struggling to avoid reprinting the same Pokemon, but the issue is not necessarily a 6th gen one. I mean, I've kind of seen enough of Aromatisse, but I've also seen enough of the monkeys. Oh, there's the Mega Houndoom EX. Not the correct, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, not the correct style of artwork, but I will definitely take it. Here we go. I think they just kind of get ingrained in showing the same Pokemon, and I don't know if the if the monkeys are popular in Japan. I don't know if Amolga is super popular in Japan. I imagine Amolga sells a lot of like merchandise and stuff, but as we come across a Mamoswine. But I just found myself lamenting the other day. Mm. The fact that there are so many Pokemon 
I mean, up until X and Y8, the last time Parasect's line and Typhlosion's line had cards in Japanese was in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I think Typhlosion was a little bit more recent in English, uh, Call of Legends or something? But the last time that those cards appeared in a Japanese set was all the way back Heart Gold, Soul Silver. And it shouldn't be that way. They should have, like, some sort of system in place that allows them to hit all their marks. Allows them to put variety in there. Because if people find out that their favorite Pokemon is in a TCG set, they're more likely to buy it. And if they weren't buying them before, maybe you're going to bring in new fans now. I don't know, that's just me, maybe. Uh, Heavy Ball, Paris, Seeking, Chespin, and Bronzong. Hitting a little bit of a drought here. I think it's time to pull that Mega Houndoom Full Art. Why don't you go ahead and hook me up, Red Flash? That'd be very nice. Here we have a Staraptor, Mistrevis, Goldeen, Magneton. Wow! It looks like this was the Booster Box Twin. We have the Mewtwo EX Full Art. And now, we are finally in range. We are one card away from completing Blue Shock, and now we're one card away from completing Red Flash. Look at that beautiful artwork and the holographic embossed pattern going on in the background. Oh, that looks so cool. Just zoom right in there. Oh, that's not showing up quite as well as I'd like. There we go. 62 out of 59. Secret rare. Just tremendous artwork. Oh, I'm so happy I pulled this card. Because the next six boxes of each set are going to be true wild cards. Because I'm going to have the opportunity to complete the set. Just one pull. All I'm going to need is one pull. I... I think I still slightly prefer the Blue Shock version, but that's like scoring a card a 9 instead of an 8.5. Uh, they're both really, really nice. Kind of reminds me of how I felt looking at the Lugia full art, although I'd still probably rank that above both of these, but... This is the kind of card that the TCG would have really benefited from back when Mewtwo was as heralded as it is now. And, um, back when we weren't just oversaturated with legendaries. Hmm. I mean, Mewtwo has just kind of taken a back seat to a lot of the legendaries that they've been pushing lately. So in that sense, even though I'm kind of a little bit annoyed... I mean, not significantly, but a little bit annoyed as we come across a Hollow Chestnut. That Mewtwo made up half of the Secret Rares and Ultra Rares in this set. It does kinda take me back. I know a lot of you are not, you know, old enough to remember what it was like to play Red and Blue. Or when you were playing Red and Blue, you might have been... I mean, you might have been five or six years old. If you're playing it at the time, or just in general. Meanwhile, I purchased a Game Boy Pocket. Yes, a Game Boy Pocket and Pokemon Red in an effort to fit in in 8th grade, which was part of my high school. Because all the people that actually spoke to me, they were upperclassmen, they were, uh, they were sophomores at the time. They all played Pokemon. And I had no idea what I was doing, and I didn't really know much about Pokemon to begin with, but I absolutely wanted to fit in. Mm. So I pointed up that money, and I made myself get that Pokemon Red, and one of the guys challenged me to a battle like one or two days into having the game. And this is back before you talk to all your friends online, because we didn't really have... Oh, Marowak break. This car is coming in strong after really not appearing very much in the first uh, half of the case. We didn't really have a whole lot of uh, online documentation, shall we say? So, I definitely battled his level 100 Charizard with my level 8 Radita. 
And because I'm a boss, he totally missed fire spin, and I got that quick attack off. And I thought it was the bee's knees, and it did not work out so well for me. Mm. But I'm sure you guys have a lot of fond memories as far as Pokemon is concerned, so that's another question I'm going to ask you, too. What is your fondest early memory of what it was like to be... You know, your own version of a Pokemon Master. We all have different experiences. I'd love to hear what you guys would have to say in the comment section below. You know, along with my other question. Feel free to answer them both if you'd like. Ah, and there's a Houndoom EX. I knew we were going to come across one more card. So I'm going to polish off this beer right now because I think that's number 10. Oh, it better be, because this is the last pack, and that would really stink if I wasted. But I think this is going to be a dud pack. Far from a dud box. Amazing pull getting that Mewtwo. Yep, as expected. Well, another box is in the books, and it's gone tremendously well. We're just going to sort out those cards. Holographic cards in this part were Empoleon, Evil Tall, Mammoth Swine, Chestnut, and Raikou. Also got that Marowak Break. Finally, a box without a friggin' Chestnut. Uh, Mewtwo EX, Houndoom EX, Mega Houndoom EX, and hello! Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Drop down to the comment section below if you have anything you'd like to share with me. And make sure you are subscribed because... Still got 12 more boxes of X and Y8 to go, and with only one card required to complete my master set in each expansion, you're not going to want to miss a single box. Take care.